Okay, what we're going to do here is I'm going to make a video called Making iFrames Work in WordPress. Now, WordPress has stated that basically using iFrames, I guess there's been some problems with them in the past and uh, they don't allow them at all. They don't like them. So, they basically did away from iFrames being working in anything. However, you can get a plugin and it's called in, uh, iFrame by Wellington. I, I don't know. Anyway, it's in, in Spanish. But some of it's in Spanish, the coding. It's in English and Spanish. So if you go in to make any kind of, you can make some changes and stuff to it, but you will see Spanish. And I don't speak Spanish. I mean, it works great. It's a great, it's a great, uh, it's a great little plugin, and it works really, really good. It just doesn't work straight out of the box. I mean, once you plug it in and activate it, it's not going to work right then. You're going to have to do these codings. You have to do them every time. And they're quick and easy, but you still have to do them. Okay, so I got the code right here, and I put it in. This is my Amazon code right here. And you'll notice the little differences I made. One of them was I got this little bracket, or say that's a bracket. I'm not really sure what that's called. But anyway, you got to change that to this. And then you have to add the little colon right here. And you see there isn't one here on the original, so you got to add that. Now there is a space here, although it doesn't look like it, but there is one. So make sure you just maintain that space that's going there. And then the last thing you got to do is take out this entire word right here. Since we're doing away with this, we're using only the bracket. We just got to close this bracket here. So basically you're deleting all the way up there to right here. And then you put that bracket in. And basically that's it. So uh, it is pretty simple and easy. You have to do it every time. All you have to do is put that there, uh, put add a little column there, and delete that and put that, and that's it. You're done. Now, usually the tutorial at this time would be finished, but I wanted to show you how when working with iFrames, you have to be the way they do it at, um, at WordPress, how they don't like it at all. Now, this, of course, is a finished product right here. This is a picture, but this is a finished product right here. And if we go and we look at it, we can preview, click preview. We can go and look and see what it looks like. So basically, what it does is, is it makes a little iframe. This is my iframe right here. Now, I wanted to show you a little bit how this doesn't work, how much they dislike iframes. Okay, I'm going to go over here to Amazon. And I'm going to, this is my particular one, I'm going to go ahead and highlight that. It's already highlighted. Right click, let's copy it. Now I've copied the iframe code. Go back over here, and I'm going to go ahead. And you know, usually we do this. You're in visual, but or you go, we go to HTML. It's usually kind of where you put it. So you go over here, and you, you know, you're working with iframes. You paste it in. You go, okay, I got it there. Go back, kind of look, see if it works. Um, it's not there. Of course, it doesn't work. Well, okay, let's go back to see if we can fix that. And it's totally gone. It's so gone. Let's just bring this over here. Let's paste it again, let's highlight it, and let's even code it. So we're going to put code words to say, okay, it's going to be coded, so it should be working there. And we should be able to see it, at least look like something like this. And it's not there. Okay, let's go back over here and see what we, what's going on here. You go here, it's gone. The word's gone, everything's gone. They just do not like iframes. So you might as well just forget about trying to do it that way. So you can modify it here if you wanted to. I could easily paste it, do my little thing right there, change that to a little bracket, put the little colon there, get rid of all this, and put it there from, I'm in HTML mode the whole time. I can go to visual now, and it's going to be there. It's not going to show up like it does with other, other things, but it's going to let you know the whole code. So that's kind of what it is. Then we go to preview. And we'll have two boxes now. We'll have this one and then the other one once it finishes loading. I have so much stuff going right now. Okay. So then we come in and we see there it is. So that would be how you can do it. You could also, if we if we had it here and we're in visual mode, we could have just as easily pasted it there and then made our changes again. Oops. Don't do that. <laughs> Make our little changes like that, put the little code back over here, and add that. And then now we have it there, and it will work just like that. Preview it, and it's going to look the same. So, that is basically how you make iframes work within WordPress.